All right. This is how we take care of Shadow. So when we come down, we have some treats for her, a couple of pieces of greens. So come here. We kind of scatter those around for her to look for. And find. And she's very distracted by the kitties running around upstairs for some reason. There you go. And while she's eating those, why don't you come around here, Lacey, so you can show the side. In this compartment is her litter box. So we take that, and it looks good in there. Sometimes she might pee a little bit outside the box, and then we just wipe it up with some, some spray and paper towel. But usually, it's just a matter of sweeping up a little bit of the Timothy hay that she kicked out. And there's a waste basket right here on the side. Look at that. And once we've done that, we take our box, our litter box, over to this side where we have a little garbage can. And we just freshen this up. So there's a scoop here. We kind of scoop out what we can from the top anything that looks wet or soiled. So she usually pees in one of one or two of the corners. So we usually kind of get out the part that's clearly been soiled there. And usually the rest of it, as far as the bedding goes, is intact. We usually get rid of most of the greens if it looks like they've been peed on. Just the rest of this is still pretty absorbent. Scooch that over. Put this back. And then this shield is just something I slipped in. It helps her keep her from missing the litter box and getting it on the inside of the hutch. If this pail gets full, it can go into the, um, can be dumped in the compost in the very back of the yard. And then over here, her bedding. So on the bottom, a very light, very small, or thin layer of pellets, like that, and then some of the soft bedding on top. Like that. And then she gets all her Timothy hay. So we usually pile it on pretty good like that. And then we put this back in. And she may run right up there and start munching on it, or she may not. And we close that. And then about halfway through the week, if that litter box is um, starting to get a bit tired, there's a fresh one here that I've already done the, the layers of bedding for. Um, you can just switch them out and start using this one and set the other one aside. And then before we go up, each day she goes through about one of these scoops of her food. So I, we usually give her half of her scoop in the morning and half in the evening. So right now, it's evening, she's going to get the rest of this scoop. And a lot of times I'll put it in my hand first because if she's around, she's hiding right now for some reason. Sometimes she likes to bump my hand right out of the way and then the pellets go flying. And then we top off her water. If the bowl has a lot of fur or debris in it, I just grab a paper towel, you know, and wipe it out. I have a little thing here that if there's a little bit of water I want to dump out, I just dump it in there rather than running it upstairs, wipe it out and top it off. And then we close this. We leave the bottom uh, door here open for her so that she can go in and out as she pleases. And uh, that's essentially it. There's paper towels here, her food, some spray, little dustpan. And there are various treats in here that she could have. These are big treats that you can put on the floor and she'll chew on those at her leisure, and those will last her quite a bit, quite a long time. And then these other ones, um, various kinds of treats.
likes the strawberry ones. She likes, she likes all of them. And that's that. So you can hit stop on that whenever you want those. Funny. Oh, jeez. Funny.